there's an elevator version of everything I'm about to say. You know what I mean by elevator version. You know, it's, if you were on the fifth floor of a building and you go into the lobby and somebody who hadn't been here to hear what I was saying said to you, what did he talk about? You could quote this, these words from the great writer James Baldwin. The moment we cease to hold each other, the moment we break faith with one another, the sea engulfs us and the light goes out. The moment we cease to hold each other, the moment we break faith with one another, the sea engulfs us and the light goes out. The rippling effect of love turns out to be an urgent thing in our world. In our world. Now, how do we prevent the light, the empathy, the rip, that rippling effect from going out? There's a story, perhaps apocryphal, perhaps not. James probably knows better than I do about the Buddha on his deathbed. And his disciples were very upset with the fact that he was about to leave. And his primary disciple, Ananda, said, uh, so the story goes, give us one last lesson. And the Buddha said, make yourself a light. Make yourself a light. And how do we make ourselves a light? By finding a calling that moves you to action. A calling that allows you to express that rippling effect of love. A calling that moves you to respond to the suffering of the world and that you get to express daily in response to that suffering. Now, a last question that has no right to go away. Will we, you and I, will we wake up in time to address the suffering that faces us everywhere? Will we wake up in time? The human heart can go to the lengths of God. Dark and cold we may be, but this is no winter now. The frozen misery of centuries breaks cracks, begins to move. The thunder is the thunder of the flows. The thaw, the flood, the upstart spring. Thank God our time is now when wrong comes up to face us till we take the longest stride of soul men and women ever took. Affairs are now soul size. The enterprise is exploration into God. Where are you making for? It takes so many thousand years to wake. But will you wake for pity's sake? But will we wake for pity's sake?